It is the 13th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start on SOT.net. Fukushima, the real cause of nuclear crisis. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the stricken Fukushima No. 1 nuclear power station, has been insisting that the culprit has that the culprit that caused the nuclear crisis was the huge tsunami that hit the plant after the March 11th earthquake. But evidence is mounting that the meltdown at the nuclear power plant was actually caused by the earthquake itself. Oh, speaking of which... That's our background. Average would be 35.9. 4 today background anyway according to the science journalist well versed in the matter tepco is afraid that if the earthquake were to be determined as the direct cause of the accident the government would have to review its quake resistance standards completely which in turn would delay by years the resumption of operations of existing nuclear power stations that are suspended currently due to regular inspections and the story goes on of course uh, they got another story. Want a white Christmas this year? Try heading north to Canada. And basically saying we might just expect a little dusting, all the white stuff's in the far north. 100 mile an hour storms on their way. Britain was told to brace itself for the worst weather in 30 years with forecasts of gale force winds, snow, sleet, and torrential rain. Uh, the Met Office issued a weather warning of gales as strong as 100 miles an hour and a freezing wind chill factor bringing the coldest week the winter so far. And you just went through a heck of a storm. Uh, over to the extinction protocol. Duck plagues. Heavy seasonal rains unbalance ecosystems across Australia. Farmers in the New South Wales had enough had endured drought as well as plagues of mice and locust but this summer we'll see rice growers ducking for cover this year's strong rainfall had finally raised hopes of a more profitable year but the rainfall also saw a rise in duck numbers rice growers from the west of uh, Deliquin says he has installed twenty thousand dollars worth of flashing lights along with gas guns to try to deter the ducks this year we've got mobs of several thousand they just sort of come in and land on the bay and just rip out the rice, he said. I've been trying to grow rice for 30 years, and I've never seen such a high concentration of ducks. Well, it looks like ducks definitely on the menu in Australia. Um, she aliens made uh, the extinction protocol tonight. Mysterious explosion and fireball seen as home shaken in rural Kentucky. Uh, apparently there was some sort of underground gas explosion. Um, on the side of a mountain and uh, there are several local news reports out uh, she aliens put out this video and it made it made uh, the extinction protocol meow to you and high winds send blowing sand 200 meters inland turning to New Zealand streets into beaches the hibiscus coast highway has looked like a beach track in parts of Orwa, as high winds blasted sand dunes, sending clouds of grit to cover homes and gardens with up to 200 meters inland. Yesterday, along the three-kilometer Oria Beach, picnic parties huddled behind vehicles to shelter from the sandstorm while on the beach, pilots of sand yachts were thrilled being, at being able to reach speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. And those are the sail cars. And, uh, yeah, the beach's playground was also clogged with sand. Knock it off. Uh, some war drums break out uh, China to establish its first military base abroad in the Indian Ocean. China on Monday announced that it will set up its first military base abroad in the Indian Ocean, the island of Seychelles, S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S, -E -E to seek seek supplies and recuperate facilities for its navy which may cause an ease in India um, yeah they're saying um, they're about uh, they're just finishing up the sea trials on their first aircraft carrier and this is one of those places they're going to resupply and they've got another story Big Brother gears up for more civil unrest new technologies to be deployed to neutralize 
protesters. And these are those safe weapons that they continue to use. And uh, if you look into it, they've got a lot of crazy things uh, they want to do to you, the protester. Over to the Ice Age now, up to 18 inches of snow for California deserts. Cold winter storm systems will affect Southern California throughout Tuesday morning. Up to 2.5 feet of snow for Arizona. Roadways, roadways will become snow-packed and icy. And a uh, story out of yesterday, climate conference, U.S. Caves agrees to consider economic suicide. The U.N. Climate Conference conference in Durban, South Africa, reached agreement today that would put all countries, including the United States, under the control of the United Nations. Over to the RSOE tonight. Um, Malaysia is having a report of a storm surge. Apparently uh, waves is knee-high, swept up into this coastal village, uh, hitting the houses and whatnot. They went ahead and evacuated that because uh, they're expecting higher waves due to the weather. Uh, extreme weather out of Perth, Aust uh, the Perth region in Western Australia, uh, just inundated with super flash floods. They were saying it was so extreme that one bridge was just completely inundated, covered over in water, and they surprised that it survived uh, this ordeal. And that's about all new they have today. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, e, e News, designer of reactor number four, suspects, suspects TEPCO cooked up simulation in an attempt to deceive public. And that's the Westinghouse computer models that they've been reporting on. Japan Times, journalist says TEPCO not telling the truth, blacking out key documents, evidence mounting Fukushima meltdown is caused by the earthquake, uh, would delay reactor restarts by years, and that's basically the story I covered earlier. Dead cleanup worker removed sludge from drains in contaminated area just hours before his death. Exceptional unease by government spokesmen. Leader of COOP at NRC worked as TEPCO consultant would most likely succeed Jaxco as chairman. And uh, they have a report, Fukushima safety levels not safe. And they have a video attached to that. At uh, Kodo, radiation up after leak at Japan nuclear plant, not high enough to immediately impact human health, says government. Like we can believe anything they say anymore. And the AP, radiation contaminated groundwater feared moving toward fourth largest river in the United States. Over 200 miles inland, posing danger to fish and people. And that's about all I have for you tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.